Отдайте Богу славу. Выходите наперед. Все самое классное спереди.
tonight, Jesus. Be glorified. Be glorified. Every tongue will confess that you are Lord. That you are Lord. That you are Jesus, the Savior of all. Oh, you are God. You are God. You are God. You are God and there's no other. You are God. You are God. There is no one else. And there is no one else. And there is no one else. You reign. You reign. Jesus, the mighty one. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Jesus. Jesus. You We don't want to be left behind. We want to be in the front lines. We want to be where he is. Amen. Oh. Nobody seeks to know the truth, and nobody wants to walk your way. Who can understand the mysteries of God? Nobody seeks to know the truth, and nobody wants to walk your way. Who can understand the mysteries of God? You reveal your deepest truth to a child. Use the foolish things of earth to shame the wise. You're the one they prophesy when you come with fire. So release the fire, release the fire, release the fire. Release the fire, release the fire, release the fire, yeah. Release the fire, release the fire, release the fire. Release the fire, release the fire, release the fire. Nobody seeks to know the truth, and nobody wants to walk your way. Who can understand? The mysteries of God. Nobody seeks to know the truth, and nobody wants to 
Thank you, Jesus. Move in this place. Display your power, God. Oh, please move, Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. Oh, display your power. Oh, display your power. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Спасибо тебе, любимый. Пусть слава твоя течет. Пусть слава твоя течет. Пусть слава твоя течет. Подними поколение славы. Подними поколение света, которое жаждет знать, Господь, сверхъестественный мир. О, подними, Господь! Бесстрашных чемпионов подними, Господь, бесстрашных чемпионов подними, Господь. Oh, raise up the fearless champions, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, raise up the fearless champions. Oh, that. Do not be afraid of the supernatural, Jesus! 
Raise up the sons of God, children of God, sons of light. God, raise the new generation. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. What you need, swear your back and lead me in God's Lord. Pushash your peace in it. Pushash your sin of your Lord. Pushash your money of your Lord. Oh, let the fire fall in this place. In this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What more are you about to do? Thank you, Jesus. What are you about to do? Thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, любимый, за то, что ты будешь делать сейчас. Двигайся, дыши здесь, меняй атмосферу. Мы жаждем быть там, где никто не был. Мы жаждем видеть то, что никто еще не видел. Мы жаждем видеть то, Господь, мы, что никто не слышал и не переживал. Мы хотим это. Мы голодные. О, oh, Jesus, we're the hungry generation. We want to see that no one's seen before. We want to be there when no one's been before. We want to hear stuff that no one hears before. God, we are that hungry. Please move in this place. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Give Jesus a praise. Ah, praise His name. Praise His name. Just praise Him. Don't let that see you. Oh, the Lord is born. That's God's boy. Oh yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Just bless someone. Just bless someone. Say something nice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Только что вы видели и слышали команда Портленда. Воздайте Богу славу. Молодцы, ребята. Вы в том же духе. Красавчики. Beautiful. Amen. Это команда Портленда, если кто не слышал. By the way, if you've never heard them, this is the team from our Portland church. Мы всю всю кольчиков не поднимаем. We are not raising up the same spirit. Если мы поднимаем еще одну команду, это львы в духе. Не переживай, что о, я не вижу наших людей. Слушай, если ты видишь людей на этой сцене, это значит, они в огне святого духа. That means they're in the fire of the Holy Spirit. Религиозную дрянь мы сюда не пустим. We're not going to let some religious nonsense play here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's welcome once again Randy Demain. Please welcome, brother. Unload something else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Благословите oh, Господа. my soul. Моя душа. And all that is within me. И все что во мне. Bless His holy name. Да будет благословен его святое имя. Благослови Господа. Amen. All right, are you ready? Хорошо, вы готовы? I said, Lord, what do you want to do tonight? Я сказал, Господь, что ты хочешь сделать сегодня? He said, fill up your horn with oil. Он сказал, заполни свой рог елеем. And begin to anoint a generation. И начинай помазывать поколение. To bring the demonstration. Чтобы проявить. Of His Holy Spirit power. Его силу Святого Духа. So tonight. Сегодня. We're going to talk about. Мы будем говорить. And release. И высвобождать помазание последних дней для призваний последних дней. Сегодня вечером вы получите сверхъестественную мантию from God Most High, от великого Бога, with breakthrough power, силой прорыва and authority, и авторитета, to bring a demonstration чтобы проявить of the kingdom of God to this generation. For God is a righteous God and He will bring a complete 
полностью and total полное demonstration проявление of the power of God, силы Бога, the love of God, любви Бога, the salvation of God, и спасение Бога to every generation, для каждого поколения, every person, для каждого человека, every place, для каждого места, every tribe, для каждого uh, колена, every tongue, для каждого языка in this world, в, этом, в этой земле before he comes. перед тем, как Он придет. Аллилуйя! All right, now open your Bibles. Хорошо, откройте свои Библии. To Jeremiah chapter 33. And we're going to talk about these end-time anointings for an end-time mandate. Now say this to God. God, tonight, I'm going to get fresh oil on my mantle. <laughs> All right, hallelujah. Now, uh, beginning in... Uh, this new decade in January of 2010, the Spirit of the Lord began to tell me that this decade, 2010 to 2020, that we would see God move in principles and cycles of threes. Principles and cycles of three. В циклах по три. So if you see one thing happen, если увидите одно происходит, by the Spirit of God, через дух Бога, go for two more. Идите еще за двоими. Don't just settle for one. Не принимайте просто это одно. If God brings blessing, если Бог приносит благословение, go for two more. Идите за двумя еще. If He brings a miracle, если Он приносит чудо, go for two more. Идите за двумя еще. When you see God move, one time, in one place, stick it out, he's going to move two more times. Hallelujah. Why is God doing this? That's what I ask him. Why series of three? God says, I'm bringing this revelation and demonstration of third day Resurrection power. Сила воскресения. Third day reformation. Реформация третьего дня. For the third day millennium that's coming. На третий день тысячелетия, которое грядет. So there are many things in motion regarding threes. Есть очень много что происходит и это движется в трое. To bring forth the redemption and the reconciliation and the restoration of all things. Чтобы принести восстановление и искупление всех вещей. So in this time. В это время. Beginning right now, God's asking us to do two things. To, to bring forth this third thing. Number one, ask God, what are you doing right now? The most important prayer I know of, God, what are you doing? And then number two, what do you want me to do in what you're doing? And that will release the third thing, which is the demonstration of this third reformation that's now happening in the earth. Let's read Jeremiah 33, verse 3, because it's 333 time. The prophet says this, by the Spirit of God. This is an invitation from God to us. He says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That's a tremendous prophecy. A tremendous promise. God is giving us the invitation right now to call upon Him. But this is what He says. I will answer you. This is not a call and wait. Get a busy signal. Get a voicemail. This is a call. And I will answer you. And show you 
great and mighty things that you have not known. God is bringing to this generation a revelation of His majesty and His glory and His power and His salvation and His redemption to this generation like none other. There's a release right now. An activation of supernatural revelatory hearing and seeing чтобы видеть и слышать через Дух Бога. Я говорю вам, есть вход в секретное знание в мир Бога, который дано этому поколению, все, которые жили до этого времени, они хотели этого. А это теперь наше. Бог говорит, я покажу вам, Great and mighty things. Покажу великие и недоступные. Keep in mind, God is saying great and mighty. Запоминайте, Бог говорит великое и недоступное. You have to think about His measure. И вам нужно думать так, как Он думает, что Он имеет в виду. What's great and mighty to God? Что есть великое и недоступное для Бога? Wow! Wow! He says, I will show you great and mighty things. Он говорит, покажу тебе великие и недоступные вещи. In other words, things that we've not formerly seen. Другими словами, то, что мы раньше не видели. He has shown us some great and mighty things. Он показал нам некоторые великие и большие вещи. But he's saying to this generation, Но он говорит этому поколению, I will show you я покажу тебе great and mighty things великие, великое и недоступное, that you чтобы ты have not seen. то, что ты не видел. Wow! wow. Red Sea opening. Черное море открывается. Вещи такие вещи. Вы готовы? Он говорит, это то, что раньше не было. Вещи, которые никто раньше не знал. И не было понимания. Эти вещи сейчас они возможны готовы для тебя сказать Yes, God. Да, Бог. Move. Двигайся. Show me. Покажи мне. Show us. Покажи нам. Great and mighty things. Великие и доступные вещи. Why? Почему? Because God is ready. Потому что Бог готов. To perform the revelation. Проявлять откровение. To perform His word. И Его слово. That you see. Которое вы ищете. He's ready. Он готов. The question is. Вопрос в том. Are you? А вы готовы? Are you ready? Вы готовы? Are you sure? Точно? He's ready. Он готовы. Ready or not, here he comes. Готовы или нет, но вот он идет. He said that three times to me. Он сказал это мне три раза. Ready or not, готовы или нет, here I come. Вот я иду. <laughs> Now in this time of threes, в это время трех, think this way. Подумайте так. Think Godhead. Подумайте Бог. Think invincibility. Как как троне, то что он такой великий. Think holy, holy, holy. Святый, святый, святый. Think Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Отец, Сын, Святой Дух. Think omniscience. Подумайте его uh, безмерность, величие. Think omnipotence. То, что он такой великий, все может. Think omnipresence. Подумайте, он виз... может присутствовать везде. In other words, другими словами. Think like God. Подум... Думайте как Бог. That's how he wants us to be thinking. Это да, он хочет, чтобы мы так думали. And begin right now. И начинайте сейчас. To press in and believe for things you've never experienced but only dreamed of because now God is ready to reveal and to demonstrate the things He shows you when you call upon Him great and mighty things are ready to be released in this generation that will absolutely bring an undeniable witness of His glory and His power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. God is raising up a remnant of people in this very hour to be the forerunners of this demonstration. Now flip over to Matthew chapter 7. 
And I want to show you where God is leading us because he's beginning to focus us on the doorway into this revelation. And if you will, qualify the remnant, the vessels who will be able to carry this mantle and this anointing to bring this awakening that's happening right now to our generation and to the churches that have not yet awakened to what God is doing this hour. What God is doing is he is preparing those who will move through times of transition from the old wineskin into the new wineskin to position them in their new purpose and power. He's drawing us to the narrow gate what he described to me as the remnant gate. Alright, so let's look here in Matthew chapter 7 to see how we can be focused and empowered to move in these end time anointings. Alright, verse 13. Enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life and there are few who find it. Quite an option for us, isn't there? The broad way or the narrow way. In this hour, God is asking us, what way are you going? Are you going like the masses on the broad way? Thinking you're going to arrive at life? Or are you on the narrow way? The right path that leads to life. Now, my question to God is how few is few. It says that there are only few that find this narrow gate. God, how few is few? I want to know. I don't want to be on the broad path that leads to destruction. I want the narrow path. Lord, how few is few? And how do you find this path? This is what the Lord told me. He said, it's the difference between willingness and readiness. I said, Lord, I don't understand. This is what he said. He said there were several million people that were willing to leave Egypt. But when it comes time to go into the promised land, few were ready. He talked to me about Gideon. About willingness versus readiness. He said there were 32,000 in Gideon's army. They were willing to go to war. But, but when it came down to it, only 300 were ready. He talked to me about the parable of the ten virgins. He said ten virgins were willing and watching. But when the sound of the voice came, only five were ready. The difference is willingness versus readiness. Everybody is willing to go to heaven. Everybody is willing to experience the presence of God. Everybody is willing for the good things. But who is ready? Who is ready to press? Who is ready to call upon the Lord? Who is ready to hear? And then move by faith in what they see. That's the difference between willingness and readiness. And those who will go the broad way 
to those who will go the narrow way. Through the remnant gate. Через врата остатка. And find life. Они находят жизнь. Now, in order to pass through this remnant gate, there are some things that we need to take off. There are some things that we need to put on. And there are some things that we need to activate. And I want to talk about these three things for a moment tonight. Specifically, Three measures of living that we must take off. Three, three mantles that we must put on. And the third day anointing that we must activate. These are things that qualify us and position us at the narrow gate. That enable us to go through. И где мы можем пройти через эти врата. And bring this supernatural demonstration. И принести это сверхъестественное проявление. To this generation. В это поколение. Let's talk about the leaven first. Давайте поговорим о закваске сначала. The scripture describes three types of leaven. Библия говорит о трех заквасках. There is the leaven of the Pharisees. Есть закваска фарисейская. The leaven of the Sadducees. И также садукеев. And the leaven of Herod. И закваска Ирода. Jesus spoke of these three leavens. I'll read two scriptures to you. In Matthew 16, 6, Jesus said, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then in Mark 8, verse 15, He charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Herod. These two scriptures describe for us three types of leaven that Jesus said to us, Take heed and beware. Because they are going to be present and operating in the church and have nothing to do with them. So let's talk about and describe what they are so we can make sure tonight we don't have any of that in us or on us. Listen to the description. First of all, the leaven of the Pharisees. It is found in a corrupt heart. A heart that desires power and position. The Pharisees were known to twist the scripture for their own benefit. For their own agenda. They would use legalism and tradition to control people for their own gain. It's a religious spirit. It's a spirit of tradition that overcomes, if you will, makes void the word of God. That's how powerful it is. Jesus said it looks good on the outside. He compared it to a cup. Washed it clean on the outside, but full of excess and extortion on the inside. He compared the, the leaven of the Pharisees to a whitewashed tomb. Looks great on the outside. But on the inside, it's filled with dead men's bones. This leaven is steeped with self-righteousness and self-promotion at the expense of the hurting in everyday people. Jesus said, take heed and beware. Смотрите, берегитесь. Также поговорим о закваске садукейской. Эта закваска имеется в виду с неверием. Садукеи не верили в движение 
of angels or spirits or spiritual gifts. They even denied the resurrection of the dead. The Sadducees are like the liberal academics of this hour. Whatever they cannot prove in their mind, they deny it. This leaven denies the supernatural power of God. Then there is this third leaven, known as the leaven of Herod. This is a political spirit. It's powerful. It operates in many churches today. It's a controlling spirit. This, this leaven loves money and power. Popularity and control. It seeks what people want and then gives it to them to retain their position of power and popularity. This leaven in Scripture partners with the pharisaical spirit to kill the spirit of life of Christ Jesus. Was it not the Pharisees and Herod that plotted to kill Jesus? And James and John? That's what this spirit does. It plots against the spirit of life in Christ Jesus and will kill it and not allow it to operate in the midst of the people. Now, the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and Herod it always ministers to your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. The three components of your soul. It's powerful. You can control and manipulate people by the power of mind, will, and emotions. It's a false sense of security or a false presence, if you will, of the Holy Spirit. The leaven of heaven it ministers to your spirit man. It's different. Many people do not know the difference, however. And are sitting week after week being controlled by the soul power of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and Herod. Now, it doesn't take very long to think about these leaven and to clearly see how they are present and operating in the body of Christ today. Yet Jesus said, beware. They will take away the kingdom's power. They are against the operation of the kingdom of God. They will make men very comfortable, but they have no spiritual power. Many today are laboring under the weight of this leaven. And it must be removed from us and from the midst of us. We can have nothing to do with a religious spirit. We can have nothing to do with unbelief. And we can have nothing to do with a political controlling spirit that kills the life of Christ in our midst. Now, let's look at the three end-time anointings for the end-time mandates. These are very exciting to me. When I heard the Lord say, fill up your horn with oil, I, 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 I know what that meant. He said, I'm going to fill that prophetic anointing upon you like the oil of heaven 
And when you lay hands on people, и когда будешь возлагать руки на людей, people, и когда будешь говорить людям, like это как Илиас рога будет поливаться на них, на их мантии, и активизировать помазания, которые я приношу в этот час. Давайте откроем вместе третье царство и посмотрим на эти помазания, которые приходят. Now we know from the prophet Malachi. Мы знаем из пророка Малахи. In the last chapter. Последней главе. Of Malachi chapter four. Малахия четвертая глава. This is what he prophesies. Это то, что он пророчествует. Before the coming and the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Перед тем, как придет великий грозный день Господень. I will send forth Elijah. Я пошлю Илью. And he will restore the hearts of the fathers. И он восстановит сердца отцов. To the children. К детям. And the hearts of the children. И сердца детей. To the fathers. К отцам. Lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. The prophecy is this. That one of the most prominent end time mantles and anointings. Великих помазаний последнего времени days, для последних дней, чтобы принести восстановление всего, будет мантия Ильи. Бог это так сделал. To every one of you sitting there tonight, to every one of you listening wherever you are in the world, that you are to be carrying and operating in the mantle of Elijah. It is the end time mantle upon which the fire of God will continually fall and manifest and turn hearts and lives to one another and to God. But I want you to see how it works но я хочу, чтобы вы видели, как это работает. So tonight, чтобы вы понимали сегодня призвание Бога на вашей жизни. Мы знаем, что Иоанн Креститель пришел как первая часть этого пророчества. Потому что Иисус говорил ученикам, что Иоанн Креститель пришел в силе и в духе Ильи. Другими словами, он был первая часть исполнившего пророчества. Он пришел и проповедовал слово покаяния. And because he didn't do any signs or wonders or miracles that typified Elijah's ministry, we know that there's much more to come. So John the Baptist came with a message of repentance, preparing the way for the first coming of the Lord. But yet there's a generation that's coming up right now who will come in the fullness of Elijah's mantle who will rebuild and restore the altars who will see the fire from heaven come upon that sacrifice and begin to turn multitudes back to the Lord by the fire of God. And in doing so, will prepare, declare, and announce the second coming of the Lord. That's what the mantle does. Now that mantle has been operating now for a few years and years. And as it begins to come to maturity, this mantle is going to multiply by three. Remember, God's moving in cycles of three. Бог движется в циклах трех. It's three thirty-three time. Три тридцать-три. So I want you to see how these three mantles are coming forth right now. Я хочу, чтобы вы видели, как эти манти приходят сейчас. These are the mantles that I'm releasing tonight. Это эти манти, которые я высвобождаю сегодня. As a prophetic voice of God. Как пророческий голос Бога. To confer upon you. Чтобы это прошло на вас. And activate upon you. И активизировать вас. These mantles. Эти манти. God doesn't want you to take another moment of your life without fully understanding the capacity, the calling, and the ability of God upon your life for this hour. God's looking for you 
to receive this mantle, получить эту мантию, то вы начинали подниматься в ней и работали намного больше, чем вы думали, что вы думали, вы можете делать себе натурально. Потому что это сверхъестественная мантия огня, силы, это разрушает нечистоту и устанавливает правду на земле. Аллилуйя! Here in 1 Kings 19, there is the description of these three anointings. Each one of you tonight will fit one of these anointings. Your life tonight will begin to make sense of why you are where you are and doing what you're doing. In other words, tonight, as Oksana sang, the supernatural is going to begin to move into the natural. Everything that you've been doing in the natural is going to begin to take on a supernatural aspect and component and release to it. No more church or life as usual. Аллилуйя. Аллилуйя. Verse 15. Это призвание Бога к Илье. После того, как его служение созрело, он высвободит три помазания на земле. Verse 15. И сказал ему Господь, Go return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, anoint Haziel as king over Syria. Also you shall anoint Jehu the son of Nimshi as king over Israel. And Elisha the son of Saphat, of Abel Mehola, you shall anoint as prophet in your place. And it shall be that whoever escapes the sword of Haziel, Jehu will kill. And whoever escapes the sword of Jehu, Elisha will kill. Yet I have reserved 7,000 in Seattle. Впрочем, я оставил между Сиэтлом семь тысяч в Израиле. Мужей всех сих колен не преклонились пред валом. И всех сих уста не лобзали его. Я скажу вам секрет сегодня. Есть люди, которые живут в этой местности, и также те, которые слушают вашу местность которые чистые, Holy, святые, они не имеют в себе пятна, no они не имеют в себе закваски, они никогда не кланялись uh, never, идолу, они не, не загрязняли себя, они держали себя uh, чистыми. But the moment these anointings are activated, they're going to come out of the woodwork and begin to move powerfully in your midst эти семь тысяч, которые не преклонили колени перед Валом, он идет и следует, чтобы стремиться дух Вала, сила, деньги, контроль. Это все испорченное, чтобы это вытащить из церкви и также из народа. Давайте я объясню вам эти помазания. Посмотрите, какой вам подходит. Потому что сегодня вы получите один активизировать. Будете двигаться через силу живого Бога. Он просто потрясет ваш мир. Он потрясет все ваши деревья. Вы проснетесь. You're going to get a mantle that refuses to be denied. The greater things of God. The first anointing is Haziel, king over Syria. I said, God, why would a prophet of the Lord go anoint a pagan king? He said to me, 
because I need потому что мне нужно a way into the marketplace вход в город I need a way into the business world мне нужно вход business I want my people to begin to move in the realm of the marketplace in the business world. Я хочу, чтобы мои люди начали двигаться в мире в этом мире бизнеса. This Hazael anointing. Это помазание Азаила. Is a kingly anointing. Это царское помазание. For business. Для бизнеса. And for rule in the secular marketplace. Для того, чтобы царствовать в мире. It's a marketplace anointing for the transference of wealth and material goods into the kingdom of God. Many of you are working in the secular marketplace. God has you there on purpose to be a person of transfer of the assets of Baal's wickedness and power and wealth и все вот это финансы, все что богатство вала царство Бога. Все равно, если это какая-то маленькая позиция или большая позиция, Бог сделал так, что вы там, чтобы вы приносили богатство нечистых в место, где праведные сидят. Есть помазание на вас, чтобы вы делали это чтобы у вас была храбрость, чтобы вы могли брать это богатство, и все вот это, что нужно, финансово, чтобы вы имели благоволение, позиция, также влияние, используя все, что в этом мире есть для Царства Бога. Это очень сильное помазание. Это помазание Царя. Многие из вас имеют это на себе сегодня вечером. Второе помазание называется помазание Иуя. Бог сказал Илья, что он помазал Иуя. Это помазание помазание должно сойти на сыновей и дочери Бога, которые будут служить в Доме Господнем. They will have zeal and passion for God that will not be denied. They will seek out and destroy the Jezebel spirit wherever she manifests. Zero tolerance for Jezebel. The controlling spirit that's seducing and feeding the false prophets. The Jezebel spirit that's giving the false prophets a voice and food. Духи завели, которые кормят и тут голос уже пророкам. These sons and daughters will take out. Все эти сыновья и дочери снимут. They will restore the vineyards. И они восстановят виноградники. The true prophetic voice. Настоящий пророческий голос. And they will free the eunuchs. И они высвободят евнухов. That are under control of the queen spirit. Которые под контролем этой царицы, то есть контрольного духа. It's all about zeal. Это все страсть. The zeal of God. Страсть Бога. Zeal for the Father's house. По это страсть по дому Божьему. This third anointing. Третье помазание. Is the anointing of Elisha. Это помазание Елисея. I love this anointing. Я люблю это помазание. Because Elisha. Потому что Елисей. Is a prophet to the people. Он пророк народу. He likes people. Он любит людей. He's not weird. Он не странный. Not obscure. Он где-то не спрятанный. Not flaky. Он не какой-то интересный. Not grumpy. Он не ворчит. Not moody. У него нет разного настроения. Его не так трудно найти. Not declaring judgment all the time. Он не провозглашает постоянно суд, суд. This is a prophet who loves the people. Который любит народ. He loves to rub shoulders with them. Он любит ходить рядом с ними. He raises the dead. Он воскрешает мертвых. He cures their bad water. Он исцеляет их неплохую воду. He prophesies good things to them. Он пророчит хорошие вещи для них. And releases the kingdom to them. И высвобождает царство для них. He's a restorer. Он восстанавливает. Of the hearts of the fathers. Сердца отцов. To the children. К детям. And the heart of the children. И также сердца детей к отцам. This anointing is a prophetic office anointing. Это пророческое помазание. This anointing oversees the Haziel and the Jehu anointing. Это помазание, оно найдет и главное над помазанием Иуя и также Азаила. This anointing stands and tells those in the marketplace. Это помазание стоит и говорит людям на улице. Stay the course. Стойте вот идите туда. 
Stand in your position. Стойте в своей позиции. Watch for the opportunity. Смотрите возможность. Prepare for the transfer of wealth. Приготовьтесь, будет переход в богатство. Do in the Baal system. Делайте, э, делайте это. B-A-A-L, the god of Baal. The Baal И также, uh, так смотрите, Ваал, что он делает. This Elisha anointing comes around the Jehu anointing. Приходит от Иуева помазание. Stand your ground. Стой. Stay your course. Стой на этом пути. Strengthen the people. Он дает силу народу. Encourage the people. Он их подбодряет. Liberate those who have been under Jezebel's control. Освобождает тех, которые были под контролем Иезавели. Restore them. Восстанавливай. In other words, it says here in the scripture. Другими словами здесь говорится в Писании. That whoever Haziel did not take out that was evil. Кого Азил не убил тот, который был нечистый. Whoever Jehu didn't take out who was evil. Или Иуя не избавился от него. Elisha would. Или Сей сделает это. So we have here the prophet and priest and kingly anointing. Being released upon the people. This is, this is three powerful anointings. In time anointings. For an in time mandate. One of these anointings. Fits you. It's made for you. Because it's Elijah anointing. Is the mantle. Это есть мантия для последнего поколения. Давайте пойду чуть дальше. И заполню эту серию трех. Я хочу, чтобы вы пошли в Исход 19. Я хочу поговорить с вами пару минут насчет помазания третьего дня. So I'm going to briefly point out seven scriptures that have a phrase in it on the third day. Now, when it says on the third day, that is a prophetic insight to this generation that God is ready to perform third day resurrection power and this third day anointing prior to the millennium that will bring this release of supernatural power. So as you see these things, say, this is mine. I'm going to do this. It says I can. This is my generation. This is what I'm made for. It's my time. When I see that, I take that, I rise up in that, I function in that, I move in that, I'm going to do this right now. Did you know that you can bring millennial power into this time? You can. It says in Hebrews 6 that some people tasted the good word and the power of the age to come before it was that time. Let me prove it to you. When Jesus came, he came to minister to the Jews. When the first disciples went out, they came to minister only to the Jews. But did you notice that the Gentiles of whom it was not their time to hear the gospel would come up to Jesus or one of the disciples before it was their time and put a demand upon their anointing and pull power from them to heal and deliver them before it was their time. You need to understand you can pull the millennial power from the time that is to come into this time. If the Gentiles did it once, we can do it again. Come on. It's true. In other words, this is the deal. Stop settling for crumbs. Просто перестаньте принимать эти кружки. Эта женщина, которая язычница пришла к Иисусу, сказала, у тебя весь хлеб. Я не буду кушать кружки. Даже чуть-чуть силы это сделать. Но я буду вытаскивать силу веков грядущих в мое время сейчас. Потому что мне нужно чудо сейчас. Я не буду ждать, когда это будет мое время. Я хочу это сейчас. Я вот сейчас здесь, я беру это сейчас в это время. This is that pull of faith and demand you can operate in. 
In Exodus 19. Исход 19. Let's begin to look at scripture. Давайте начнем смотреть Писание. And see what we can contend for. Посмотрим то, что мы можем просить. And expect to tangibly operate in. И ожидать, чтобы мы двигались в этом. This time. В это время. Now here in verse 16. 16 стих. I'll begin. Я начну. Then it came to pass on the here it is third day. На третий день. In the morning. That there were thunderings and lightnings, and a thick cloud on the mountain, and the sound of the trumpet was very loud, so that all the people were in the camp trembled. And Moses brought the people out of camp to meet with God. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely in smoke. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Того, its smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace. And the whole mountain quaked greatly. And when the blast of the trumpet sounded long and became louder and louder, Moses spoke, говорил, and God answered him by voice. Then the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain and the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain and Moses went up. What's significant about that scripture? The Israelites Israel had never experienced God like that before. They never knew God. Они никогда не знали Бога. Presence and power. Его в присутствии силы. Like that day. Как в тот в день. It was a whole new experience. Это был полностью другой. In the presence. Присутствие переживания. And the power of God. В силе Бога. I'm telling you. Я говорю вам. This is what's coming. Это то, что грядет. You're about to experience. Вы скоро прочувствуете. Presence. Присутствие. And the power of God. И силу Бога that's going to shake you, make you afraid, shock you, amaze you at how powerful God can be in your midst. So in this time, expect new experiences with God. Don't put him in a box. Don't expect him to show up like he always has. He's about to come on your mountain in fire. He's going to light you up. You're going to start smoking. He's going to shake you and quake you and speak into your innermost being so you just shudder and shake under the presence of God. He's going to speak to you in your hearing with his voice. So expect his mighty presence. Expect to hear his voice. Expect signs and wonders. Expect to be shaken. Expect God to come down in your midst. And expect to go up into his presence. That's what's coming right now. Here's another scripture. Second Kings chapter 20. Verse 5. You don't have to turn there. I'll read it to you. God had sent Isaiah the prophet to Hezekiah with some bad news. Isaiah told Hezekiah, you're going to die. Not good news. Hezekiah prophesied to him and began to leave his presence. This is what it says. That Hezekiah began to pray quickly. God, spare my life. There are enemies that I have to conquer. There are things I must do. Before uh, Isaiah got out of the courtyard, God heard Hezekiah's prayer. That's a fast prayer and a fast answer. Look what happened. Смотрите, что произошло. Second Kings 25. God said to Isaiah. Бог говорит ему. Return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people. Возвратись и скажи этому царю, лидеру моего народа. Thus says the Lord. Так говорит Господь. The God of David, your father. Бог отца твоего Давида. 
I have heard your prayer. Я услышал твою молитву. I have seen your tears. Я видел твои слезы. Surely I will heal you. Я исцелю тебя. On the third day you shall go up to на, the house of the Lord. На третий день ты пойдешь в храм Господень. What just happened there? Что произошло там? God is saying to us. Бог говорит нам. On the third day. На третий день. I'm going to give you access to supernatural extended life so that you'll be able to fulfill your purpose. And you shall not die until you've completed that which I've called you to do. Supernatural extended life. The next scripture. Hosea chapter 6. Verses 1 through 3. In this scripture is prophesied renewal, revival, and revelation. This is what it says about the bride's revival. Come and let us return to the Lord. For he is torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken us, but he will bind us up. Но он также перевяжет нас. Через два дня он пробудит нас. И на третий день он воскресит нас, чтобы мы жили перед его очами. Дай нам знать. И чтобы нам понять знание Господа. Потому что он идет, это как заря утром. He will come to us like the rain, the latter and the former rain to the earth. On the third day is prophesied, renewal, revival, revelation. He said that this revelation like Jeremiah is coming forth like the morning. In other words, every day when you wake up in the morning, God says, I have fresh revelation for you coming like the sun. Coming like the rain. If you'll begin to contend for fresh revelation, it's breaking forth every morning. And it's coming like the latter and former rain combined. It's not a little bit of revelation. It's a lot of revelation. It's the bridal revelation. One more scripture. John 2. It's about launching creative miracles. This generation is going to see more than any other generation the creative miracles of God. Because every single one of you are going to operate in supernatural power to do creative miracles. Every one of you. That's exciting. Это очень классно, радостно. This is what it says. Это то, что здесь сказано. On the third day, на третий день, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Был брак в Кане Галилейской. And the mother of Jesus was there. И мать Иисуса была там. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. был также зван Иисус ученики его на брак. And when they ran out of wine, и как не достало вина, the mother of Jesus said to him, то мать Иисуса говорила ему, they have no wine. Вина нет у них. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to his servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Many sitting here tonight would say, I'm not ready to do creative miracles. My hour has not yet come. And this is what the Lord says. Whatever I say to you, do it. That's how miracles happen. Whatever he says to you, do it. Hallelujah. A couple more, we'll wrap this up. In Genesis chapter 1, it's all about the harvest. It simply says this. And 
Let the earth bring forth grass. Пускай земля произрастет траву. The herb that yields its seed. И семя. And the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind. И дерево, которое приносит плод по роду своему. Whose seed is in itself. Которое семя имеет внутри. The scripture goes on to say. Библия также говорит. And God began to bring forth and multiply the seed. И Бог начал проявлять и семена. Это жатва. On the third day, he said it was good. На третий день он говорит, это хорошо. On the third day, you can expect the greatest harvest the world has ever seen. На третий день вы можете ожидать великую жатву, которую мир никогда еще не видел. Это очень классная вещь насчет семени. Ты можешь посчитать, сколько яблок имеет семен, но ты не можешь посчитать, сколько яблок в этом семени. Это так работает жатва, которая грядет. Ты можешь посмотреть, сколько семени было посажено, но мы не сможем посчитать тех, которые придут в этой жатве последнего дня. Номер шесть, еще один. The release of supernatural resources. The subversion of resources, finances, or whatever you need. Genesis chapter twenty-two. Genesis chapter twenty-two. God told Abraham. Бог сказал Аврааму. To take your son Isaac. Возьми своего сына Исака. Take him to Mount Moriah. Возьми его на гору Мария, Мария. And there sacrifice him unto me. И ты его жертвуешь мне. The Bible says. Библия говорит. And on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place so far off. On the third day, we're going to see the place of miracle provision. Moriah means it means the place of provision. That's what the name means. I'm telling you, we're coming into a supernatural provision. Я говорю вам, мы приходим в это место, где у нас сверхъестественное благоволение, благословение. And this is what it takes to activate it. И вот что нужно, чтобы активизировать это. Give your life to God. Отдай свою жизнь Богу. The way He asked you to. То, как Он попросил тебя сделать. And you will encounter Jehovah Jireh. И ты встретишь Его в Ира. The Lord who is your provider. Господь, который благословляет тебя. You'll encounter supernatural supply. Ты встретишь сверхъестественное благословение. And God will give you every gate of your enemy. И Бог даст тебе все врата твоих врагов. Last one. Последнее. It's about restoration. Это восстановление. It's about the bride making herself ready. Это где невеста приготовляется. Esther chapter five. Эсфир пятая глава. Verses one and two. Один два. Now what happened? И что произошло? On the third day. На третий день. That Esther put on her royal robes. Исфир одела свои царские одеяния. And stood in the inner court of the king's palace. И стояла во дворце у царя. Across from the king's house. Напротив царского дома. While the king sat on his royal throne. И когда царь сидел на своем троне. In his royal house. В своем доме. Facing the entrance of the house. Это было перед домом. So it was when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court. И когда царь увидел царицу Исфир, что она стояла во дворе. That she found favor in his sight. И она получила благоволение в его очах. And the king held out to Esther. И царь протянул к Исфире. The golden scepter that was in his hand. Золотой скипетр, который был в его руках. And Esther went near. Исфир подошла. And touched the top of his scepter. И прикоснулась к этому верхушке. In the third day, you and I, as the bride of Christ, will begin to put on our royal robes without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. And when the Lord sees us in that state of readiness, two things: we're going to find favor in His sight. Мы обретем благоволение в его очах. Такое благоволение, благословение грядет, это поколение, что мы не слышали, не можем объяснить. И он протянет нас скипетр своего царства. Это наша работа. Протянуть и схватиться за это и царствовать вместе с ним на земле на третий день. Аллилуйя! Did you get the stuff? Получили все это? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
I'm telling you, we're coming into incredible times. Я говорю, мы приходим в такое время. Beyond any other time. Такое, что никогда раньше не было. Like no other time in history. Как никогда в истории. This generation. Это поколение. Is going to be given the opportunity. У них будет возможность. To usher in the king and his kingdom. Принять царя и его царство. There are some living today that will never see death. Некоторые, которые живут сейчас, здесь никогда не увидят смерти. Они будут жить в это тысячелетнее царство. И они никогда не пойдут в могилу. Как классно это, а? Очень классное время. Слушайте. Господь сказал мне сегодня вечером заполнить мой рог гелеем и активизировать и высвобождать помазание последних дней для призвания этих последних дней. Я никогда не знаю, что я буду делать, когда я разъезжаю. Я молюсь, и Бог говорит, делай это, и я делаю то. И потом Он освобождает свое царство. Иногда я пророчествую, иногда исцеляю больных, иногда я проповедую слово, иногда я пою, иногда я танцую. Но сегодня вечером there's a prophetic authority and power to release a mantle upon you. And this isn't just a little exercise. This isn't kids' play. This isn't religious ceremony. There's going to be a supernatural activation of a mantle of God, the mantle of Elijah, in one of the three forms activated on you tonight. And it will remain active from this day forward for every single day of your life until God accomplishes His purposes in the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to invite you to come and I'm going to pray over you briefly through three of the anointings. Now, some of you may go, well, I have two. I understand that. But you have one primary anointing. That's the one I want you to come for. And I want you to have faith for that one. Don't be double-minded. And when I lay hands on you tonight, this vessel is filled with holy anointing oil. In the when I touch you, there's going to be a convergence and an activation of this mantle. And it's going to operate in your life as you cooperate with it. Are you ready? It's going to be a good night. You know why? Because the increase of his government and peace is going to be released tonight. God's going to take you to a whole new level. This church to a whole new level. This region to a whole new level. That which you have been praying for, calling out for, now it's going to be increased to the number of people that receive this mantle. If 120 people in an upper room can change the known world, how much more so all of you tonight as this mantle is conferred upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the prophetic word and office of God. This is a tangible, real, powerful anointing that will open doors, that will give a breakthrough to you, that will cause fire of heaven to come and fall upon your sacrifice. The fire of God only falls upon a sacrifice. When you give Him your life as a holy sacrifice, the fire of God will fall upon you, and the people around you will say, the Lord, He is God, and you are His servant. And I have come to know your king and your God. It's a good night. Hallelujah. If you feel as though tonight that you have the Haziel anointing, that you're in the secular marketplace, I want you to first come. You come tonight if that's your calling. And we're going to put supernatural 
И мы естественное на ваше so естественное. Быстренько. Выходите. Это люди, которые с бизнесом, с работой, связаны с бизнесом. Люди, которые работают. Господь сказал мне только что, когда вы выходили, двое из вас до конца этого года будут миллионерами. Я не знаю точно кто, но это кто-то здесь, в этой линии. Двое. Если слово приходит, берите это. Come on, be greedy. Давайте, будь, жасите этого. That's what I tell people when we're having a healing service. Это то, что я говорю людям, когда на служении исцеления. If you get a word of knowledge close to what you have, если у вас есть слово знания, come and get it. То, что вы чувствуете близко, берите это, если вы чувствуете, что это вам. Lord, I pray over these tonight. Господь, я молюсь за этих сегодня вечером. And I sanctify them into this mantle and anointing. Я посвящаю их в это помазание и в эту мантию. I set them into this anointing tonight. Я их вставлю в это помазание сегодня вечером. And by the prophetic word. И через пророческое слово. And by the Holy Spirit of the living God. И через святой дух живого Бога. Confer upon them this night, Lord. Пускай в этот вечер садят они Господь. The mantle of Elijah. Мантия Ильи. The mantle of Hazael. Мантия этого человека царя. The businessman. Это бизнесмены, the marketplace anointing, работают, которые работают, чтобы умножалось благословение, and favor, благословение, and power, благоволение, сила, and position. И позиция. I call forth each one of these tonight. Я призываю каждого из них to сегодня, begin to bring forth the transference чтобы они начали приносить этот переход богатства нечестивых к чистым, святым. Приготовь их сердца, приготовь их руки, position them, поставь их, place them, поставь их, favor them, дай им благословение, promote them, продвигай их. In the name of Jesus, let this anointing come. Let it rest mightily upon them. Lord, I confer this anointing upon them now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.
I declare this release tonight. Now, God, send them out. God, order their pathways. Let the increase come. Let the wealth transfers come. I decree this very night the activation of the Haziel anointing upon these business men and women. Anointing, power, increase of good, blessing, God, favor, increase, now, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Glory. <laughs> All right. All right, now. <laughs> Glory. Rock it out. Good. Let it soak in. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. All right. Now we're ready for number two. Round number two. Number two. Number two. All right. Number two. The Jehu anointing. Pomazanie Iuja. The Jehu anointing. Iuja, to je to svišenik. Pomazanie svišenika. This this anointing. To pomazanie. Is going to break the back and the spirit of Jezebel. To slamajte spinu duha Izraeli. One thing I want you to understand. Ja chcę, żeby wy pojęli. That the Pacific Northwest. To jest region Severa. Oregon, Washington. A szczególnie region Washington. Is anointed. On pomazan. To destroy Jezebel. No other states. Like these two states. Have the Jezebel breaking anointing. Just by virtue of living here. God's calling you. To eradicate. The spirit of harlotry. In the church. The operation of the Jezebel spirit. To raise up the mouth of the true prophets. To restore the vineyards. To restore the true voice of God. To activate supernatural holy power. To cleanse the house of the Lord. Of the spirit of Baal. And the operation of wickedness. God's conferring upon you tonight. The anointing for fire. And power. And decree. And confrontation. And altar building. And restoring. The place of God. The temple of God. The altar of God. You are the restorers of the altar of God. In holiness and power. This night, receive the Jehu anointing. The seal of God for the house of your father.
Let the Shehu anointing now burn. Let it burn with passion and zeal for your name. And zeal for your house. Let this the fire kindle a flame. God. Kindle a flame. A flame of revival. A flame of restoration. A flame of demonstration of your kingdom. And of your power. And we decree this very night. Follow Jezebel. Чтобы упала из овечки. В этой нации. В этом штате. We throw her out of the tower. Say, Jezebel, you're out of the tower. Let God arise. Let the servant of the Lord come. Let the prophetic voice be restored. And let the name of the Lord be honored in again in this land. Jesus. Let your fire come. Lord, give them stones to throw at the enemy. Let them throw stones at the enemy. Lord, give them 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 stones at the enemy. Let them summon the people, God. To be invited to the nation. To the demonstrations of your power. And let the people around us. To be people around us. Declare. The Lord He is God. The Lord He is God. The Lord He is God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. God, I send the Jehus out the land. I send them out. I send them out. I send them out. Go in the name of the Lord. Go in the name of the Lord. Let the fire of heaven come. Let the fire of heaven come. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to the Lord. All right. Come on, Elijah. Elisha. Давайте Елисей следующий. I want the Elisha. Это пророки, это Елисей. I want you to come up front. Я хочу, чтобы вы вышли наперед. Those of you who live in that 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 sense of that place, you have a, a witness in your heart. We need to have a sense of our hearts. That God has called you into that place. That God has called you into that place. I'm going to confer this anointing upon you. But I want the witness of the body of Christ and the leaders to confirm this. This calling. This is a very serious calling. This is not an anointing for amusement. This isn't just so you can multiply or do miracles. This is an anointing to restore the people of God to the house of God and to the worship of God. This is an anointing to, to restore the hearts of the fathers. To the children and the hearts of the children of the fathers. You are ministers of reconciliation. Supernaturally empowered. To bring restoration. And I charge you tonight. To watch over your brethren. To the businessmen. Those in the marketplace. All the firebrands that went out tonight, the Jehu anointing. Guard them, guide them, bless them, strengthen them, and take care of them. Heal them, restore them, provide for them. It's your calling, and it's your duty. Begin to release in this land the seven thousand. That have never bowed to Baal. They are waiting for you to perform your office and to complete the work of God. On you, there is a supernatural ability. On you, there is a supernatural ability. To raise up the young prophets. To restore the true voice of the prophetic. To heal the sick. To do creative miracles. To heal and stabilize the waters. And to move as Elisha moved. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, I pray. In Jesus' name. Fill up my horn again with oil. Заполни мое сердце лем. Мой рог лем. And let this oil now come upon their low heads. Пускай это пили сойдет на их голову. And the shoulders. И плечи. Of these Elishas. Те эти все пили сей. Boys stand before you tonight as Elijah. Которые стоят как пили сей сегодня. Declare the emergence of the Elijah generation. Это вот поколение Elijah. The Elijah mantle. 
Your kingdom is not ready tonight. We declare the breakthrough of God. The breakthrough of God. The breakthrough of God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the King. Jesus. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout out to God. Присядьте, дорогие. Мы только в середине конференции. О, oh, аллилуйя. Дорогие, я просто побуждаю вас прямо сейчас. Благословить этого человека. Потому что уровень славы, который высвобождается сейчас, я не, я не наблюдал еще никогда. Ты чувствуешь в духе, сдвигаются горы. Возьми сейчас конверт и вложи туда самую лучшую жертву. Тебя никто не заставляет, но знай, к пророку с пустыми руками не ходят. Ты должен благословить. Ты не имеешь права no right быть паразитом. Ты не имеешь права no right съедать и не благословлять. Ты не имеешь права. No right так не работает. Духовный мир никогда так не работает. Поэтому знай закон сеяния и жатвы. Мы благословляем тех, которые благословляют нас. Бог скажет, сколько посеять. Возьми конверт и скажи, я вложу туда самое лучшее. Самое лучшее. Потому что Бог всегда делает для нас самое лучшее. Oh, я дам вам минуту. Если вы писываете чек, вы писываете на Transformation Center. И в конце конференции мы отдадим все эти финансы. Мы делаем большой чек в его служении. Аллилуйя. Воздайте славу Богу за этого великого человека. 
Thank you, Randy. That's powerful. Спасибо, Randy. Это сильно. That's heavy. Это, это тяжелое. That's timely. Это очень uh, вовремя. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, Иисус. I just... Oh, that is such... We live in such a good time. Мы живем в такое прекрасное время. Thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, Иисус. Как обычно, опять... Again, we received... Опять очередной камень. A stone. Thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, Иисус. Thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, Иисус. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Не знаю, что, но там, по-моему, что-то. I don't know, but something's going on over there. Моя жена что-то там получает. My wife is receiving something right now. Yeah. Oh, я знаю, на ней мантия пророка. I know she has the mantle of a prophet on herself. О, oh, послушайте те вещи, которые я видел. Know the things that I saw, что Бог скоро будет делать через ее, soon, через ее голос. О, oh, приготовьтесь. Get ready. Приготовьтесь. Get ready. Oh, Мы дадим минуточку. We'll give a moment, чтобы все могли пожертвовать. So Церковь, послушайте. Listen. Ты можешь где угодно зажимать. You can uh, hold back whenever, wherever, but not right now. Not right now. Сейчас говорятся вещи. Right now, things are being spoken into your future that will change your destiny. Not yours. Но всех, кто Only, касается тебя. И эти три мантии. Вы получили. You received them. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, Иисус. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Еще одну секундочку. One more second. Вы знаете, я так рад you за эту so конференцию. Здесь много движения Духа Святого. Но я так соскучился за учением, мудростью и фундаментом. Спасибо, Иисус. Все имели шанс пожертвовать. Если кто-то еще заканчивает, мы дадим минуту. Хорошо. Давайте мы благословим приношение. Отец, я благодарю Тебя Father, за каждый цент и доллар, dollar, за каждую дающую руку. Gives, нашим даянием giving, мы разрушаем проклятие и нехватки. Мы разрушаем We destroy все, что дьявол рушит. Спасибо, Иисус. Аминь. Бог высвобождает золото в Я вижу золото so в Я провозглашаю, что золото только твое и твое. И даешь тем, Господь, и даешь своим сыновьям и дочерям. Господь высвобождает золото. Я провозглашаю золото и серебра, платину и Unrestricted, unlimited God. I declare the release of them and I, I even declare tonight, God, that there, that I even decree there's, there's miracles tonight in gold and silver. Miracles of gold and silver happening right now. Dental miracles. If you need a dental miracle right now in the name of Jesus, I see, I see God releasing gold and silver. Uh, so in the name of Jesus, I release those. I declare the release of those in the name of Jesus. Dental miracles I release. Gold, silver, precious stones, God. The release, God. Finances, supernatural.
Хорошо, прямо сейчас те, кому, те кто реально нуждаются и верит, буквально друг другу просто проверьте. Мы в этой церкви делаем. Прямо сейчас, просто присядьте. И без всяких проблем просто посмотрите друг другу просто в рот. Аккуратно посмотрите. Серебро и золото. Просто проверьте. Очень часто во время того, как вы проверяете, checking, чудеса происходят. Аллилуйя. Проверьте еще раз. Check again. Проверьте еще. Check again. Аллилуйя. Вы знаете, здесь это происходит. You know, it happens here. Amen. Amen. Проверьте еще раз. Check again. Когда придете домой, When you come home, будете чистить зубы, brush your teeth, очень хорошо посмотреть. Take a look closer. Если у вас что-то произошло, If something happened, а вы можете об этом засвидетельствовать даже завтра. You can testify about this tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Спасибо, Иисус. Хорошо, дорогие. Okay, beloved. Few more seconds. Пару секунд. Я еще раз скажу. Again, I'll say this. Еще осталась продукция. We still have products left over. Возьмите книги. Take these books. Те, кто читает на английском. Those that read English. И возьмите uh, take сет DVD Angels That Harvest. Ангелы, которые собирают жатву. Просто возьмите. И вот это, uh, это у нас uh, Kingdom Revelation Ministries. Также, uh, Signs, Wonders and Miracles. Words and Winds of Heaven. Слова и ветры неба. DVD. Также не забудьте. Also, don't forget музыка. Music. Uh, нашей команды. Our team. И также команда, uh, и также, извиняюсь, Джереми. And also with Jeremy. А, 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 все доступно, можно купить. Да, поэтому не забудьте магазин Don't справа. The on the right and the и, table. А, да, а на левой стороне будет а, right стол с продукцией Рэнди. Хорошо, дорогие, приготовьтесь, okay, завтра будет очередная бомба. Хорошо, родные, завтра okay, в 10 утра мы увидимся we'll с вами здесь. Here. Приходите с жаждой. Аминь. Воздайте славу Богу.